Hello everyone. I am Dr. Priya Sipaha. Today we will discuss Amicus Curie, the Indian perspective. Amicus Curie is basically a Latin word which means friend of the court. That person is appointed by the court who is a specialist in any specific area along with the legal knowledge who can assist the court by offering information or expertise or insight that has a bearing on the issue in the case in a form of a brief. He or she is not a party to a case and should not be appointed by a party. That means, as I said, he or she must be appointed by the court to maintain the transparency and unbiased decision. The court appoints him and the court itself provide his fees or consultation. And the decision on whether to consider an amicus curiae lies within the discretion of the court. As far as the Indian legal system is concerned, amicus curiae can be appointed in the criminal cases or in a civil cases. In criminal cases, if a petition is received from the jail or any other criminal matter, if the accused is unrepresented, then an advocate is appointed as amicus query by the court to defend and argue the case of the accused. As far as civil cases is concerned, the court can appoint an advocate as an amicus query if it deemed fitted necessary in case of an unrepresented party. That means here the thing is same when the party is unrepresented. But the court can also appoint amicus query in the civil case in any matter of public importance or in which the interest of the public at large is involved. Now the role of amicus curiae. An amicus curiae can be appointed as a counsel or advocate or as an expert or specialist or in the cases of great public importance. Now, as far as counsel or advocate is concerned, this I have already discussed that if for some reason the counsel for the accused did not appear before the court of law, the court may appoint an amicus query for the purpose of defending the accused. Secondly, he may be appointed as an expert, where as a specialist in an any specific area along with the legal knowledge who can assist a court by offering information, expertise or insight that has a bearing on the issues in the case in the form of a brief. And thirdly, if a point of a great public importance was brought up before the court, the court may appoint amicus query to assist the court. Recently, some guidelines has been issued by the Supreme Court in Anokhe Lal v. State of MP case where it is likely that life imprisonment or death may be served as a penalty. These are first, the, either the learned advocate who have put in a minimum of 10 years practice at the bar alone can be appointed as amicus curiae or through legal service to represent an accused in all cases where there is a possibility of a life sentence or death sentence. Second, senior advocate of the court must first be considered to be appointed as amicus curiae in all matters dealt with by the High Court concerning confirmation of death sentence. Third, some reasonable time may be provided to enable the counsel to prepare the matter whenever any learned counsel is appointed as amicus curiae. There cannot be any hard and fast rule on that behalf. However, a minimum of seven days may be generally be appropriate and adequate. Any learned counsel who is appointed as amicus curiae on behalf of the accused must generally be granted to have meeting and discussion with the concerned accused. This is all about the amicus query. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button and you may follow me in the various platform that is on the website that is priyasapaha.com where you can get a detailed note, YouTube, 
then Facebook page Lawcolic You. We have an Instagram page also that is Lawcolic You and a Twitter account Dr. Priya Sipa where I usually share all the things related with the law. Thank you for watching.